This next speech is about a man who may not be here right now, but is here in all of our hearts. <laughs> our speech is entitled, Andrew Brody. <laughs> a man. <laughs> Nay, an experience. <laughs> January 21st, 20-07. I arrived in a room. It looked like an ordinary room. But alas, I could not be further from the truth. A man greeted us with a simple, Hello! Pointing at us with his index fingers. He was exceptionally tall, and his wingspan, intimidating. The smell of Windex shrouded the room. There were no pencil sharpeners in sight. When everyone was seated, not a sound could be heard. Not even the squeak of a chair, because there were tennis balls on them. <laughs> he called attendance, adding a special personal mispronunciation to each and every name. Shortly after, he arose. He passed out a packet, our Bible of Health. Our Torah of fitness, and our Quran of life, our content packet. He addressed us with the greater power than a maestro over his orchestra. Never hang upside down in trees in North Carolina. I broke a bone off. From these words, we directed the rest of our lives. Over the next three months, Mr. Andrew Brody, number 23 for the New York Knicks, taught us dozens of, dozens of more lessons about the fundamentals of human existence. He taught us about the effect of oranges on fighting colds. <laughs> the cleaning power of Windex. Um, the dangers of using a blow dryer in the bathroom. And above all, the importance of daily physical exercise, no matter how ridiculous it may be. <laughs> Mr. Brody was a very deep man, often telling jokes only he could comprehend. <laughs> the rest of us were left awestruck. I don't believe the title, Health Teacher, really credits the amount that Mr. Brody taught us. Which is why we dub Mr. Andrew Brody the sensei of all things bodily. <laughs> May he continue to be a role model for everyone he meets.